Welcome back everyone. What we're going to be doing today is seeing if our generator can power this electric kettle. So say you're living off grid or you're camping somewhere. Sometimes you just want a nice warm cup of coffee or tea, whatever your choice is, uh, to start your morning. So let's uh, get this guy running and see what happens. So you'll see that the battery is full and also the uh, watt output right now is set to zero. That's because we're not making our coffee yet. So this is already filled with water. Let's go ahead and turn that guy on. What you'll notice almost right away is that the wattage draw goes significantly high. Also, the battery level went down quite a bit. The reason for that is if you look at your output, as far as how many watts this guy is using, it's pretty much maxed out. So whenever this goes up, your battery level is going to go down considerably only because it's drawing a lot of watts. But with this guy, you're actually safe to run up to 1,440 watts continuous and it'll power it just fine. That means it's almost coffee time. In there, get a little load. Oh, you hear it click. All right. It's coffee time. So as you can see, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. Did you hear that sound? That's the sound of the generator's internal cooling fan. It only comes on when there's a high watt draw on the generator, but don't worry, it's supposed to do that. It'll turn off after a minute or so. That's just one of the many ways we keep the generator safe. All right, let's get back to the video. You can get yourself some nice hot water to get your day started with your coffee or your tea. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.